Go on an excursion with geologist Chuck Blay, and he will take you to Kauai's far distant past. This is a great view of Waimea Canyon. It's kind of one of the natural gems of the island of Kauai. It's also a great place to get a feeling for just what are the Hawaiian islands and what are their origins. And if you look into the, in the walls of the canyon on all sides, you'll see there are layers. And the, all the layers are lava rock. Hawaiian islands are composed predominantly of igneous rocks, lavas, and most of the lavas in Hawaii are the kind that come out as liquid uh, rock called magma. You can see Hawaii's lava in action on the Big Island, where the black streaks on the map indicate recent lava flows. Chuck explained that Hawaii's lava originates deep in the Earth's core. It makes its way through the mantle to the surface in a plume, creating a hot spot in the oceanic crust. This hot spot has given birth to the Hawaiian Islands and produces fantastic displays through the Big Islands volcanoes, displays that Hawaiians regard as the very being of the fire goddess Pele. The Pacific Ocean is made up of mainly one large geologic plate, tectonic plate, which is like a large slab that makes up most of the seafloor, and it's mobile. That plate is moving us towards Asia at about three and a half inches a year. So every year we move about that far. The hotspot is stationary. As the plate has inched toward Asia during the last 67 million years, the hotspot has created a string of islands, atolls, and now submerged islands called seamounts that stretch all the way to the coast of Siberia, where the Pacific plate disappears beneath the Eurasian plate. The movement of the Pacific Plate means that if you travel from five million year old Kauai to the Big Island, which is still being born, you are time traveling forwards in geologic time. And the Big Island's huge, gently sloped shield volcanoes and their vast fields of fresh lava give you a good idea of what Kauai looked like five million years ago. So how has Kauai been transformed from this kind of landscape into the Garden Isle, lush with vegetation and known for its deep valleys, steep mountainsides, and knife-edged ridges? Over the millennia, vegetation has taken hold on fields of raw lava. Meanwhile, erosion, mostly from water, has carved Kauai's plunging valleys. But other forces are at work too, forces that are slowly returning the island to the sea from which it emerged long ago. In their youth, relentless erosion begins reducing the volcanic rock of Hawaiian volcanoes, creating black sand beaches. Due to their massive weight, the volcanoes also begin sinking into the oceanic crust. Coral reefs grow around their fringes, and as they dominate shorelines, coral sediments produce white sand beaches. Meanwhile, the Pacific Plate slowly drags the island into ever deeper and colder waters. Eventually, the volcanic island disappears beneath the ocean surface and becomes an atoll, with coral reefs and white sand beaches surrounding a lagoon. As the atoll moves further northward and colder waters slow the growth of its corals, what was an island finally becomes an underwater seamount. After disappearing beneath the Eurasian plate, the island begins a long subterranean journey downward toward the Earth's mantle core. 
where its molten lavas may one day rise to the surface once again. <laughs>